Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the absolute insanity of the left. We've passed the point of hypocrisy here. The Rubicon has been crossed. They crossed it when they indicted him, but now they take it as far as corruptly producing their own legal ends here, essentially creating the parameters for a guaranteed conviction. We've reached the final step across the river. They've crossed over to the other side. The Rubicon has been crossed. Donald J. Trump found guilty on 34 counts on bogus, trumped-up charges. The fascists at CNN are absolutely giddy. It's certainly a celebration over there. And here's what I discovered. Yes. That in the most serious FBR cases, a sentence of imprisonment is routinely imposed. This is the most serious falsifying business records case in the history of the state of New York. I think Alvin Bragg is going to ask for a sentence of incarceration. And I think Judge Mershon will very seriously weigh that. So the special treatment, you're saying, would be if he were not given a prison sentence. Right. And I think Judge Mershon will look at the case. We've debated this. For Ooh, guess what? Potential prison time for the former president. They're giddy about it. They're laughing and smiling. But as per usual with these short-sighted leftoids, their celebration might be a little bit premature as their step across the Rubicon ignites something almost as if I've never seen before. The counteracting effect has already started. The blowback may be extreme. Let's have a conversation about that. We got some stuff to get into. So let's roll the tape. All right, folks. So I'm sure you've seen the news. It's pretty late at this point. Guilty also coming in from inside the courtroom. Our producers now saying 33 and 34. They're saying guilty on all 34 charges. Um, that is where we are at. Uh, the, the jurors, it looks like we're going to leave for the day. Suddenly we get this verdict. It is 34 guilty counts on all of this. Donald Trump found unanimously guilty on 34 counts. And of course, now the expectation from most leftoids is that it's over. It's done. He's been found guilty. He's going to prison. He's not going to be president. They officially did something about it, as Claire McCaskill mentioned a couple times. They saved democracy. Well, you might want to slow down there, little leftoids. The Trump team has been prepared for this. We already have reports from Trump's attorney revealing that he was expecting a guilty verdict, or rather guilty verdicts. Quote, we didn't think we'd get a fair shake. The most cynical amongst us would have had the right prediction here. I was hoping for a hung jury. I thought that was the most likely outcome. No way did I think that every single juror would unanimously vote guilty. But I guess the Trump team has been prepared for it. To be honest, Trump doesn't seem phased at all. It's a rigged trial, a disgrace. They wouldn't give us a venue change. We were at 5% or 6% in this district, in this area. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. But the real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. And they know what happened here, and everybody knows what happened here. You have a sore respect, DA, and the whole thing. We didn't do a thing wrong. I'm a very innocent man. And it's okay. I'm fighting for our country. I'm fighting for our Constitution. Our whole country is being rigged right now. This was done by the Biden administration in order to wound or hurt an opponent, a political opponent. And I think it's a, just a disgrace. And we'll keep fighting. We'll fight till the end and we'll win because our country's gone to hell. We don't have the same country anymore. We have a divided mess. We're a nation in decline, serious decline. Millions and millions of people pouring into our country right now from prisons and from mental institutions, terrorists, and they're taking over our country. We have a country that's in big trouble, but this was a rigged decision right from day one with a conflicted judge who should have never been allowed to try this case, never. I think leftoids at this point, after securing this verdict, were probably expecting a beat down, depressed Trump, but he seems more motivated than ever before. And maybe that's with good reason. As we continue to burst the left wing bubble, Trump's not done, not even close. He's not getting pulled off the ballot. He's not getting thrown into a prison cell. In fact, quite the contrary. Here's an article from the Morning Star. Even with the guilty verdict, Trump is unlikely to be put behind bars 
hours before November's election. Trump will likely be granted wide latitude to appeal his conviction in the Stormy Daniels case, even after being found guilty of trying to cover up hush money payments to make stories of affairs go away, Donald Trump may well remain a free man until long past November's election. Womp womp womp. You know, the Democrat dream is that Donald Trump would be taken away, problem solved. You know, this democracy thing they keep talking about, I guess from their perspective, is just taking their opponents out to the trash, dumping that person in the dumpster in a jail cell, and calling that successful democracy an election. Well thought, earned, won. But it's not going to play out that way. Trump's not going anywhere. The only thing that really, truly changed here is that Donald Trump's talking points, his rhetoric surrounding the deep state, witch hunts, the weaponization of the DOJ, well, they all just got that much more stronger. All of his statements now pack much more substance than they did 48 hours ago. And it seems like the people are already reacting. Here's the initial spike on the night of. The graph here showing people asking the question on Google, how to donate to Trump. Look at that spike. Beyond parabolic. And the true scale of it was just revealed by the Trump team. Here's an official memo just released. Today, the Trump campaign announced a record-shattering small donor fundraising haul following the sham Biden trial verdict totaling $34.8 million, nearly double the biggest day ever recorded for the Trump campaign on the Win Red platform. They continue later on by writing not only was the amount historic, but 29.7% of yesterday's donors were brand new donors to the Win Red platform. No crime actually committed, no jurisdiction, statute of limitations run its course, no due process, a conflicted judge, a Soros prosecutor, a 95% Democrat district, a totally stacked jury. This is about to backfire like you can't even imagine. I mean, for Pete's sakes, even if Donald Trump was guilty, it's still probably backfire. Oh, a politician and a rich man paid hush money following his counsel's suggestions? Lock him up, throw him in the gulags. Democracy depends on it. Nobody freaking cares. It's a ridiculous case. It should have never been tried to begin with, but now they somehow drag this thing across the partisan finish line, or rather across the Rubicon. There's no way. 12 honest civilians could all line up like this, finding him guilty on 34 bogus charges. That was hard to believe, but the idea that this is somehow going to benefit Democrats as they go on this vengeful campaign, gloating about imprisoning their political opponent, there's no way it's going to be perceived as legitimate or acceptable by the populace. We know that it already isn't, and even a portion of Democrats don't view this case as credible or serious. The double standard is clear. The Democrats went way too far on this one. Millions upon millions upon millions of dollars will be raised. A cultural counter campaign will spawn at a level we haven't seen before. Honestly, just peruse social media. It seems like it's already happening. Look at the money flowing. Look at the outrage. Look at all the people joining on the bandwagon. You know, thanks to this, Trump's getting, let's call it, billions of dollars in free marketing and advertising. This is what every network looked like last night. He's essentially getting to campaign for free. Then let's add on the one night $35 million campaign cash windfall. At this point, they can indict him. They could charge him all they want. They could put him in prison for Pete's sakes. Trump's not going anywhere. And I think he just got a whole lot harder to defeat. Anyways, that's pretty much what I got for you guys. That's what's on my mind. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.